this video is going to be about how to use the Earth Pulse device. It comes in a small box and it comes with a coil applicator and it, and it comes with a control unit. There are wires that go into the back of the control unit. There are two ports, a plug-in for the uh, coil and, and a power port. So what you would do is you plug the wires in to the power port to turn it, give it power, and you plug the other one in to the small port to get the coil activated. And this is basically what the control unit looks like. Um, one, before you start with the control unit, one of the things that you need to work with is the, is the coil itself. The coil comes to like this, presented like this in the box. Now, it has a, a button on here that allows the center piece of this to be removed in order to uh, allow for different configurations of the device. Um, normally, what you do is you leave this alone. I would not change that uh, fundamentally. Um, you, c you can take the ring off to give you a, a, a better rounder field. The back piece of this deflects the field out so that you get a much deeper field effect. This changes the polarity around the, the field so you get more of a, um, a spread to the field. Um, and I don't, uh, you can either use it that way or you can use it just this way itself. And I think you get a, a better, uh, stronger, deeper field by doing it this way. So, but if you want to take the backing off it, you use, you use a coin of some kind and just twist that button off. That screw, it's a big screw, take that off. And then you can um, simply remove the, this from the backing and use it simply this way as the coil. And then that way you could use it in both directions if you wanted to. You could use south and north. And it's marked on here, north. So we'll put it back together again. For sleep purposes, you're gonna be putting it under the pillow or between the box spring and the mattress pad. And you just lay it underneath. Do remember that uh, when it's in an enclosed space, it will tend to heat. It can get fairly hot, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable. In fact, sometimes if you wrap it around the body, the heat will be an additional benefit uh, or he healing factor. Um, I tend to use my earth pulse uh, under my pillow. Some people are more sensitive and uh, only would use it between the box spring and the mattress. And for extremely sensitive individuals, you may actually have to put it on the floor under the whole bed. Now the control unit is fairly simple to operate. When you plug it in, you'll see a little red light indicating that power is coming to the unit. When you turn it on, with this button, you'll see sleep on command, which is the name of the system. And then um, the panel will, will give you one of, the, one of the settings. You can change the settings with these two keys and you then start the program with this. So let's, we can scroll through the different programs. This is mode alert, mode and train down, and train up, recover, sleep four, sleep three, sleep two, and sleep. You also have alert. And then it goes back to the very beginning. So when you want a particular program, like one of the programs that I use frequently is Sleep 4. Sleep 4 is straight delta. It keeps you down at a very deep level of sleep throughout the whole night. It does not ramp up and down, as I've explained in the other video, it doesn't ramp up or down in either direction. So once you select your, um, your mode, then you hit the enter button and it gives you the time. So it, it happens to be set here for eight hours. So what you can do is you can change the time up by 15 minute increments. It can go up as high as 12 hours. Okay, nobody's gonna do that typically unless you happen to be doing it for therapeutic purposes. So let's say you, want to, you're going, you expect to be sleeping for eight hours, then you would leave it at eight hours uh, and then hit the enter start button. And you'll see a little arrow flashing or a little um, asterisk sign flashing and that tells you that it's running, tells you the program that's running, and it gives you the amount of time that you've got.
And what happens is that's, that's your counter. It will tell you how much time has elapsed or how much time has been left on the, on the, on the system. Um, so when you, if you wake up in the middle of the night, you'll know how much time is, has elapsed and how much is left, basically, for you to do uh, your treatment. So there it changed to 759. And that's basically it. It automatically shuts off when, when it's completed. You can stop it at any time by, by pressing the, the Start button again, or you can just simply turn it off. Um, very simple to, uh, to operate. It's just a matter of knowing the different programs that are, that are built into the system.